what is going on guys so that is my climbing system in action now i'm going to break down a few of the features and show you just how easy it is to use and set up and guys i'm not messing around when i say someone with no programming experience can jump in and set up these climbing routes in five minutes it's like playing with legos the whole point of the work I do is to make sure making games is easier for everyone so everyone can get involved. So, the system uses various shaped blueprints to allow you to climb onto objects, where you set the transform of the blueprint and place it over your environments. Change a few settings on the blueprint itself to adjust things like going around corners, animation offset, standing up on the blueprint, and you're done. No coding required at all. There are currently five climbable BPs currently set up. One for ledges, one for circle ledges, one for poles, one for walls, and one for wall circles. Just check out how easily I can set up climbing for these environments. For the church, all I did was place various ledges on top of the building, allowing us to climb up and round it. The cathedral, I did the same thing with the ledges, but I also added some wall climbables for the pillars so we can navigate the whole environment. For our steampunk environment, to climb up the clocks, I used a lot of small ledges, allowing us to jump diagonally between them. And for the pipes, I used a few pole blueprints and ledges together. It took me five minutes for each of these environments and we were climbing all over them. It's that easy. The system is of course fully multiplayer replicated and ready to go, where you can climb around with your friends. There is also documentation covering how to set up your levels and more information on the code, so I can help you out if you get confused. The system works hand in hand with GASP Traversal, the code isn't linked, however, because the system is made via building blocks, it allows you to throw in traversal objects whenever you like. When holding onto a ledge, your feet will either be up against the wall or you'll be hanging. This is decided by a distance you can set to whatever you like. And you can also force the character to hang if wanted. The feet will always match the distance to the wall regardless of how close or far away it is because of the control rig used. It's super cool. Now, as for the actual climbing, we have nine directional movement for each object, meaning we can either move or jump diagonally in all directions, up and down, left, right, and backwards. We have numerous animation groups set up in the project for transferring to another climbable when it's close, for short jumping, long jumping, and movement. Swapping animations is incredibly easy. All in all, the climbing system has everything you need to start your climbing journey on various obstacles. Regarding updates, this system is so expandable, adding new features is as simple as throwing a few more animations and climbable types in, and we're done. I have plenty of ideas planned to add in walking across ledges, wall running, tightrope walking, and more. Pick up my system and make a request in the Discord and I will gladly take all your requests and throw them into the climbing. The system at the moment is only available in my frameworks which has content covering an entire game which you can find in the description of this video. I will eventually add this climbing to Fab as a separate pack, however if you like the looks of this system trust me when I say my framework has a heap more awesome features in it and I am constantly adding new features into it. I will also mention that buying my framework will work out a lot cheaper than if you were to just buy the climbing system as a separate asset. This is just the beginning. There will be plenty more improvements and updates to come. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all in the community.